remember to remember. Do you have a favorite family story or, or maybe a story that you guys always tell around a certain holiday, whether it's Thanksgiving or Christmas? I, I know in my family, we have a, a, a story I always try to get my stepdad to tell. Uh, my stepdad, Mike, uh, told us this story one time, and it's, it's a great story because it's kind of unusual for him. And uh, when, when he was younger and he lived by himself, kind of in a bad neighborhood, one night he heard uh, a noise and thought, well, maybe it was just one of his cats. And then he heard a window go up. And so he ran over and he thought, well, that's no cat. And he looked out the window and going down the fire escape uh, was a burglar uh, carrying his big boom box, which was a, a, a prized possession of his at the time. And so instead of just like calling the cops, he ran after him and he started running after him. And, uh, you know, meanwhile, he's yelling police, police. And finally, the guy stops, turns around, looks at him, throws the boom box down and says, you want to fight? And my stepdad said, yeah, let's rumble. And, uh, and it's just so funny to think about that for me. And, and so he said he was like wrestling and kind of like fighting with the guy and yelling, police, 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 trying to get people's attention. And eventually the police showed up. Um, and by that time, he had, the guy had run away, know, knowing like people were starting to, to wake up or become aware of what was going on. And I love remembering a good story. Stories speak so much to, to our past. And, and when I'm with friends, I love telling stories. And I think about, for us as Christians, remembering is almost a sacred thing because we recall the fact that God has been faithful to us and we see how God has acted in our lives and in time. But we also remember that God is present in the here and now, but also we look to the future and, and we see that God has a future for us that's greater than anything we can ever imagine. And for us as, as Catholics, in a special way, we, we remember as we come to Mass each week. One of the things that Jesus said right before he died was to do this in remembrance of me. Do this in my memory. And he was talking about the Eucharist, the institution of, of the Eucharist as he gives himself fully to his disciples in what looks like bread and what looks like wine. And it's, it's a really cool moment because God, who is outside of time, invites us into this kind of eternal moment, this eternal moment where he gives himself to us. It's not a new sacrifice. We're not just, just re recalling or re reenacting, but it's that same Jesus Christ who died on the cross is present for us in the Eucharist. He gives himself fully to us and causes us to remember God's faithfulness that God is present today and he gives us a hope for the future that's greater than anything we could ever imagine. So today, I, I wanna encourage you, I wanna challenge you to think about a moment where you've seen God's faithfulness and you've seen God's presence in your life uh, and share that in the comments below. Don't forget to like this post and to share it as well. God bless you.